Hello, welcome to this episode of Hypnotist Bernie's Exposition. Joining us today is Tyron. Tyler. Tyler. Hey, yes. how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Very well, very well. Um, so, you are a student at uh, Boston, Boston College. College. Okay, yep. tell us a bit about yourself. Um, like you said, I'm a student at Boston College. I am a communications major, um, also taking some business and econ uh, courses. I am a sophomore. I am 19 years old, turning 20 uh, in November, so next month. Um, what else? I, I'm a dancer. Okay. Yeah. So I, what, what got you into? What got you interested in uh, in communications? In communications, well, one of the biggest things at BC, or at least that they focus on, is that you should major in something that you actually have a passion in. Okay. And um, Boston College actually has a core uh, core curriculum, and so you actually have to take courses from pretty much all different um, uh, study areas. And communications was the one that I was just drawn to or interested in. So I really want to. What kind of classes is this in that? Uh... Oh, for example, right now I'm taking uh, communications research methods, uh, interpersonal communications, uh, what else, just media, broadcasting, certain things like that within that respect. So I think it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of hands-on uh, experience. So, yeah. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. Um, so what would you like to work on today? Well, today... So I am trying to get into the acting business. I already do a lot of modeling. I'm in uh, a lot of catalogs for, I guess, uh, a lot of department stores and stuff like that, some runways, some fashion shows. And about two years ago, before I started college, I was really thin, really petite. I was really confident in myself, and I'm still pretty confident. Don't get me wrong. However, uh, as soon as I... Uh, reached college, you know, that temptation in terms of the food and the stress and everything else just kind of hit me all at once. Um, really, I'm just here because I kind of want to get more self-discipline. I want more self-control or more control of my mind in terms of how to resist foods. Um, um, yeah, particularly... For example, when I was living back at home, when I was in high school, my mom didn't really cook. I never had that exposure to a lot of the foods. And so, I don't know, food was never on my mind. And then you go to college and it's like Monopoly money. And I live like five seconds away from the dining hall. And, you know, they have all this um, food and especially it's a college. So it's not the healthiest foods in the world. Is it all you can eat? It's pretty much all you can eat. Like I said, like I treat it as Monopoly money. I'm not... I yeah, mean, so I'm paying for it, but I don't, don't feel like I'm cash, paying for it. So no, exactly. Yep, there. yep. You just pay. You just swipe your card and you go. You don't really <laughs> see how much you're spending. I'll, I'll buy something. I don't even know how much it is. So um, I just want to be able to get more control of my mind in terms of how to resist certain temptations for foods. Uh, I eat a lot when I'm stressed. I eat when I'm bored. Uh, I just want to know how to say no. I guess. Okay, so, um, so you really, what's on top of your mind is overeating more than waking. But they're they're connected. Because I've since I've been to um, college, I've well, gained of course, about. Of course, it's like related, right? But like, yeah, you, you see it as an overeating problem. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. I definitely do. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily. My my problem, yeah, like you said, it's more overeating and trying to get control of myself rather than the actual weight gain, even though they're correlated, I guess. So, yeah. So, when was the last time you you experienced an episode that, that you think it is a problem? Are you kidding me? Every single day, like this morning, uh, what did I have? I had like an omelet, then I had ice cream, then I had a piece of cake, then I probably had a cupcake. Like it's okay. it's that bad. That's like it's literally bad. that bad. Like I I give a round of applause to my metabolism for keeping up with me. I should be <laughs> so much bigger than I am right now. I think, uh, to be honest, I just yeah, I really need to uh, get more control. Okay. 
Okay. And so I think that control like extends to other aspects of my life as well. I just need to become more motivated, more self-disciplined. I seriously lack self-discipline, and I think it is affecting me on an everyday basis. It's that that's pretty much the reason why I am so stressed. You know, just um, having that on my mind all the so time. So tell me more about what you mean by the word self-discipline. Self-discipline. <sighs> or a lack of. A lot. Okay, so. So if you tell me a lack of, if we just do the opposite, <laughs> <laughs> then that would be it, right? Exactly. Um, so what I mean by self-discipline is just saying that I'm going to do something and doing it. Uh, I guess. I don't. I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but just. Just, okay. just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Control. Okay. So tell me a story. When was the last time you you think that self control or that self discipline has become a problem? Uh, other, than other than food. Right. Because it sounds like you you use food as a background story, as, but but you keep using the word self discipline. That's very true. So so it seems like that is bothering you a lot more mm -hmm. than just food. Right? That makes a lot of sense. So a time where I probably lacked self discipline. Um, or, or, or it has it was a problem for you, and and you you, it's kind of like a like a something that is sticking against the back, you know. Yeah. Something it's just poking you at the back all the time. You know, just tell me one of those stories. Um, let me think. I mean, all I can really say is that it's really difficult waking up, telling myself that I'm gonna get something accomplished. Um, I'll go to sleep. I'll I'll go to sleep and I'll write down a list of all the things that I'm gonna accomplish for the next day. Okay. And then the next day, it's like, eh, I'll put it off until tomorrow. You know what I mean? Okay. When was the last time that happened? Literally, when I say every single day, okay. I mean this is a problem okay, pick, every day. Pick, pick one day. So this way, the reason why we're doing this is so mm -hmm. that it becomes more clear to you. Yeah. What happens? Just a big blob of anything could happen yeah kind of scenarios. So I think that's last? my one issue is that I don't really know um, just it is a whole big blog a blob okay, to me so this is why I said okay backtrack on okay. so when, uh, when was the last time it happens um, it's like taking the bus right when was the last time <laughs> you took the bus you can say oh yeah I took the bus every day but like when was the last time you took the bus right? so, <laughs> when was the last time this is a problem or this is this happened um, let me think, let me think. Other than eating, correct? Right. Um, hmm. Come on, help I'm thinking, <laughs> I know, but it's really difficult because I feel as though it's not like a specific instance. It's just, it's just something that's right. always on my mind in terms of... Well, it sounded like it is... You you are making it a much bigger problem. That's it. true. Like literally, right? Because That's like, true. You know it happens every day. It yeah. It's routine. Yeah. And when I ask you to give me an example, you you want I to blink. come up with something that is so big. Yeah. That that to impress yourself or, or me, <laughs> I guess. Right? But like, yeah. so it sounded like literally that you are making out to be something that is much bigger. That's very true. And it is right. Uh, so. I don't know. I think I think maybe the reason why I am making it to seem something bigger than it may be is because I do feel a lot of pressure on me in terms of to look a certain way or, well, especially to look a certain way because I am, um, I'm like in a movie now. I need to kind of lose weight for that movie. Thank you. I need to kind of look a certain way and I'm having trouble with that and it's like the more that I feel that pressure the more that I want to run to food as like my coping mechanism does that make sense so I think I don't know what's more of an issue for me whether it's this discipline because I have discipline in other aspects of my life such as school work so, and okay we're still we're still going back to, to this it will be it make more clear to you mm -hmm. if you can just tell me I'm story. having trouble telling you a story. Well, but you said it happens every day. I know. Well, I mostly mean the food, though. Okay, so, okay tell me about the food. So okay. The last time you had an you know, issue with... Such as today, like I said? Yeah, okay, yeah. What, what did you have? Like I said, like I had um, an omelet, and then at the same time, 
I had ice cream, and then I had like a piece of cake, okay. and then because I think I always tell myself, oh no, like I'll, I'll go healthy the next day, and then the next day comes, oh no, that's fine, like I'll just put it off um, for another day. You know what I mean? So, so okay, I don't know. so so, what in the perfect scenario, what should you have for breakfast? I'm not perfect a scenario. So, oh yeah. So I'm not going to tell you what do you have, right? But like in your mind, what would be like a healthy portion? For you? Healthy portion? I think, I think it's more about listening to my body in terms of when I'm hungry or when I'm not hungry, rather than eating just when I'm bored, or when I'm feeling stressed. Okay, no, Sorry. So, I like, you see, I'm not being mean and, like, picking mm -hmm. you, but, like, I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Make it clear to you, mm -hmm. so that the next time you, you deal with it, you can just deal with reality. Okay. And you don't have to, to deal with something that is so big and overwhelming. Okay. And saying, like, oh, I have no control, right? Mm hmm But how do you be in control so you know so I'm asking you portions the reason why I'm asking you so what is the perfect portion for you right? okay so so in a way you know if you know what's this the right thing to do and you're doing the right thing then you're automatically not doing the wrong thing right? okay so, so so what would be like a breakfast okay breakfast I guess like an omelet uh next time I eat would be around noon or lunchtime when I'm done with my classes so, would, so what, what, what would be in the omelet? What would be in the omelet? Yeah. I guess some vegetables. I like to put like spinach and broccoli. I'm a weirdo. And my omelets. Okay. Uh, a lot of peppers, stuff like that. I don't know. Just two eggs. Yeah, two okay. eggs. White, white. Um, egg white. yep, egg whites. Yep. No, no, no yolks. No yolk. I I actually like egg whites. I prefer okay. egg whites. So yeah. But it 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 comes some kind of yellowish. No, they do. I don't. Know. I don't. Know. I don't know why. Like I brought like a like a like a bottle of egg yolk at Charles. Mm -hmm. And pour it out. It's like yellow. I I I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something is wrong. But like in any case, but does it come out white or does it come out? No, it comes out pretty white. Okay. At least at Boston College, it okay. comes out pretty white. All right. So so, so no suspicions there. there. Yes, yes, definitely. So so it's like a how big will it be? <laughs> I guess. Um, I don't know, like two fists, or whoa, an omelet. I don't know, maybe like okay. this big. I don't know, not pretty big. How, how long not would you? Take, what else would you be drinking with it? I honestly don't drink anything besides water. Okay. Yeah, I don't like soda. I don't okay. like juice. I'm kind of weird for that. I literally okay. only drink water. I don't know if that's a problem or if that's a good thing, but I certainly only drink water. Yeah. So, or like milk if I'm like having cereal. Right. Yeah. So I guess we can come up with, with this idea here. For you to immediately move forward, right? Mm -hmm. Is to think what is precisely the things you need to do. Yeah. So it seems like even when you're talking about the list, right? You you know you kind of know what you want to do. But you use I have no control as an excuse. That is very when, true. When you when you see a problem. It's it's not like you don't have any control, but like it's easy to brush it off mm -hmm. when you say I have no control. Yeah. And you can just blame it on the vast, hasty, unknownable. Because when I ask you what it is, you can't tell me anyway. Exactly. Right? Um, so, but like, so it's, it's kind of impossible to deal with something that is not known to you. Mm -hmm. But you can deal with something that's real and in front of you, right? Mm -hmm. This is why we have this exercise mm -hmm. um, to talk about what exactly you want for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then. You, you later on when you have more time for yourself, you you outline what exactly what you want for lunch, right? Mm -hmm. And once your mind, conscious and unconscious mind, is focusing on the right thing to do, then you're automatically not focusing on the wrong thing to do. Right? It's, um, you know, in business or in sports, we say uh, it's called a fear of making mistakes, right? The more you're afraid of it, the more mistake you're gonna make. Mm -hmm. So the more you're afraid that something you cannot control yourself, the more direction is pulling yourself in that way because you're giving that part of your mind all your energy, right? So, so very quickly, right? So if I have magic wand today, I can just go, ding, <laughs> and everything works out perfectly. Um, 
how would you be different? How would I be different? Right. Um, see yourself, you know, see yourself sitting right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. What would that different Tyler be like? What would she think different? I would probably have more, well, at least I would think that I would have more control of myself and my future in terms of what I want. I would probably be more confident in terms of, uh, in how terms of achieving different? my goals. Like, like how, how would, what would the difference be? Um, just sticking to my word, I guess. Okay. In terms of, because I know what to do. It's just a matter of doing it. I, I've been to many nutrition, nutritionists, um, you know, and I feel like there may be some like underlying reason why I feel as though I lack discipline. And I don't know what that reason is. And, you know, I'll write down journal entries and stuff like that. Just trying to like figure it out and just, you know, I'm just trying a new approach, I guess. Right. So. Okay. But like, you, you're still coming up with things mm -hmm. that is kind of like out there, right? Okay. Like literally, like, like. You, you can't deal with that, mm -hmm. but you spend all your energy onto something that's unknowable, right? Mm -hmm. Like metaphysically unknowable. Okay. <laughs> right. So, how would you be thinking differently? What would this new you be thinking differently? You mean like specifically? Yeah. Like, I'll walk by the dining hall and I won't think anything of it. Okay. That's what that's I'm good. thinking. That's good. Yeah. Like my my focus will be elsewhere. What, yeah. That's precisely what we're trying to get at. Okay. Today, right? you okay. Know, just, we say focus. Usually, people describe focus as laser sharp focus, right? Yeah. Okay. You just focus and nothing else. I'm trying to be like more analytical head, here. Right? I don't yeah. know why. Okay. Um, you know, there will be a change, right? Mm -hmm. um, how would you feel differently about yourself? I'd feel more positive about myself. I don't know. I'd. Um, how would I'd... Your, how would your body communicate to you differently? How would your, um... your gut and your shoulder feel different? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I guess. Wait. Explain what you're. Explain what you're uh, asking. How How would you feel differently? Okay. I would. Like I said. I don't know. I just feel lighter, possibly. I because I know when I eat a lot. Um, like I said, like I don't listen to my body. I sometimes feel sick, and then that sickness will like crave more food for some reason when I know the reason why I'm feeling sick. So I guess I would just feel healthier in general in terms of like putting the right food into my body instead of like junk. Okay. So yeah, I think I'll be like more energized. Okay. Um, hopefully. Oh, so I want you to just put your feet flat on the floor. Okay. I want you to just focus all your attention on the center of my palm. Okay. Take a deep breath. I want you to just imagine the new you. Imagine yourself wearing something different. The, maybe the clothes you always want to wear. It doesn't matter what brand, it doesn't matter. If it is something you cannot afford right now, but you wish to afford in the future. But just think about this new you. It could be in an any different body shape you want. Imagine this new you this new expression on your face. Imagine this new you with the new way of thinking, with a new aura of success. Think about how this new tower will be thinking differently. It could be intellectual thoughts, it could be life philosophy. Just think of this new you. Now I'm going to count backwards from 5 to 1. When I reach the number 1, I want you to close your eyes and just allow your entire body to step into this new you as soon as I reach the number 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, Allow yourself to step into this new you. Think of the fresh new thoughts. 
this new you raises razor sharp focus. Whatever she set her mind to, she will accomplish. This new you full of self esteem, self confidence. Whenever she walks by dining hall, she will just walk right by before giving it a second thought. This new you will be focused on her achievements, will be focused on what she is doing every moment. This new you whose goal is to take the next step and accomplish the next thing. You will not let any other external influence to bother you or distract you in any way. Tomorrow, when you go to breakfast, it will be just like you imagine it to be a moment ago. You will go order the particular omelets that you imagine. With the right ingredients, and the right type of eggs. And you can see it in front of you right now. The perfect size of portion. You can even smell the delicious nutrition coming up for your breakfast. That's right. And feel it entering your mouth. Feel every morsel of it, feel the taste. And as soon as you finish this omelet, you feel satisfied. And you're ready to move on to the next part of your day. From now on, each and every day, you feel the sense of self-discipline, the sense of self-control. Whenever you make a list, you'll find yourself being able to focus on every task at hand. And if there's a task that you find it difficult to accomplish, all you have to do is break it down into small tasks. And just focus on the action of each and every one of the tasks. That's right. I'm going to count from one to three. When I say the number three, I want you to open your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes, come back to the screen. How do you feel? I feel kind of tired, but I feel good. Um, I feel relaxed. Did, did you feel the... Can you describe this new you inside? Um... Oh, I don't know. I definitely... I definitely feel relaxed. Um, I feel like I just want to do something, to be honest. Oh. I feel active. Okay. Usually I don't feel that way. What kind of things would you want I feel like I kind of want to get something done. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, so, when this session will be over, you have this energy that, that you can apply to your life immediately. What would you be doing? What would I do first? Yeah. I would certainly write down that list. If it is not too personal, name name a thing in that list. Hmm. In terms of homework, start on a research paper that I usually put off until the day before. Okay. Um. Kind of feel like going to a gym right now. I don't know why, but I do. Okay. It is because um, just a moment ago, we, we I kind of get the impression that you spend a lot of the time in your head. Mm -hmm. You think about things and you feel about things, but you don't take the action. So it's like a like a car that's spinning on like with three wheels. Mm -hmm. and that's why the car will be going in circle. Right? So you ju we just given a lot of energy to the to the action part and the behavior part, mm -hmm. and uh, and immediately afterwards, hopefully, you can take this energy and apply it to your plan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I want you to look up here and it counts backwards on three to one. When I reach number one, I will like you to close your eyes and let your mind drift. Three, two, one, sleep. Just let yourself go. Right, sleep. Open your eyes.
want you to find all the energy in your body right now. And just find the center of the energy right at the center of your body. Just give this energy a good grab. And found that any energy, any negativity that you might be holding on, it could be something that has hurt you in the past, or it could be some negative energy that you may or may not even know what it means. You may not, may not even know how to take it. It was a part of you, so give it thanks, as it was always been a part of you. But it should not be bothering you anymore. Just let that negativity go right now. Use your unconscious mind to find any stress that you may be holding on. Any notions that you have no self-control. Any notions that you have to eat a certain way. Any notions that you are unhealthy. Just let them all go. And in turn, I want you to feel a ray of white light, a warm white light just spread throughout your body. Filling you up with positive thoughts, positive emotions, energy, life, and connecting with all the goals of your life. I'm going to count from 1 to 10. When I reach number 10, I would like you to come back to this room. Feeling great, feeling like you've just left for the last four hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a deep breath in. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Ten. Thank you for coming. Thank you. This is a very successful session. Join us next week, Tuesday night, CCTV.